It's very family oriented. I learned how to work together. My intent is mostly to inspire hope, faith. Two beliefs that started at a young age with a pencil, paper, and a lot of imagination. I started to draw stick figures that looked very good for a two-year-old. Many doodles later, Diana Calderon wasn't sure if her gift of art was the path to her true passion, serving the community. I remember thinking, why, why do I have this talent? It's useless. Like any child, we grow up and we realize that we are given talents for a reason. Diana's love for community and art mixed into a collage of higher learning and volunteering. I started with AmeriCorps National Service. I did 1,800 hours of service there. Volunteer with the Big Brothers Big Sisters for six years and Charity and Truth International. I've gone to Haiti a couple times, nine and 12, so four and a half and six. And she found her dream job too, in Maryvale, working with students that need a touch of hope and someone like Diana, or Miss D as the students call her, for a brush of inspiration. Las Artes is a community initiative of the Valley of the Sun YMCA. It's a partnership with the county, Maricopa County. It was created for 16 to 21 year olds trying to get their GED at risk. The art component is uh, work readiness training, so I teach them how to prepare for the work environment. They practice being employees and they also learn other type of skills like um, creative problem solving, not just with their art, but in, you know, with life. The backgrounds of these students vary from CPS custody to probation. Some are parents and some are past students, like Sierra Cianez. When I first stayed here, I'm not going to lie, I didn't like it. I did not like it. I was like, oh man, you know, I don't really like it. I don't want to go there. I kind of did a little bit slack off the first day, but then, you know, I was like, I'm here for a reason. I need to come, you know, and I am you know, start talking to teachers more, you got more involved in it, and I actually liked it. Like the young artist and current student, Christian Lopez. I did uh, have um, some incidents before in other uh, institutions, and I came here and everybody was welcoming, and then they welcomed me here, and I, I thought that was, you know, the best thing that I never knew what, uh, was possible that I could actually do. I really like expressing myself and I did get a lot of help from Ms. D, from the school, from all the staff. Both students changed their outlook on the future thanks to the program Las Artes and of course Miss D. I want them to look into it, you know what I mean? Maybe it's something that could help them out in the future if they're young, you know, and they haven't finished school yet, they should really look into it. I hope they get inspired. I hope they see me as a student that did overcome a bunch of obstacles that you can get help. You can uh, aspire to be what you want to be. Like Diana, she feels like there is still a lot of work to be done in the world. And it starts every Monday morning at 9 a.m. Working with the students, um, I'm able to hopefully inspire hope and encouragement and especially with those struggling deeply. We provide a a platform for them to be successful. So we really care, we work one-on-one. -on -one. It's looking really clean. This is me, I don't, I can't imagine life without art. The school day comes to an end and most of the students graduate from Las Artes. Maybe she can't imagine life without art or maybe she can't imagine life without helping the community or it could be the students that bring her hope every day. I hate to see them leave, but it's a good, it's a good thing that they get their GD, but I really miss them when they leave.